The evolution of London from ancient roots to global metropolis. London, the capital of the United Kingdom, is one of the most iconic and influential cities in the world. Over 2,000 years of history have transformed this once modest Roman settlement into a sprawling multicultural metropolis, leading in commerce, culture, and global influence. In this documentary, we embark on a journey through time, uncovering how London evolved, shaped by conquests, fires, plagues, and revolutions to become the pulsating heart of the modern world. Chapter 1 The Birth of London Roman Londinium 43 at 5th Century London's story begins with the Romans who invaded Britain in 43 AD under Emperor Claudius. Finding a natural crossing point along the River Thames, they established Londinium, a small but vital trading post. Initially modest, Londinium soon grew into one of Roman Britain's most important cities, thanks to its strategic location. By 100 AD, it had a population of 30,000, a grand Roman forum, basilicas, and a vast defensive wall to protect it from invaders. Yet, Londinium's prosperity was constantly under threat. In 60 AD, it suffered the wrath of Queen Boudica, who led an uprising against Roman rule, raising the city to the ground. However, the Romans quickly rebuilt it stronger than ever, establishing their dominance for the next few centuries. The city continued to thrive until the collapse of the Roman Empire in the 5th century when Roman troops withdrew from Britain, leaving Londinium to fall into disrepair. Chapter 2 A City in Flux, Anglo-Saxon London and Viking Invasions 5th-11th century. For the next few centuries, London's fate was uncertain. The Anglo-Saxons who settled across Britain established a new settlement to the west of the Roman ruins, known as Londonwick Modern Day Covent Garden. This early medieval London was largely an agricultural town, but its position on the Thames ensured its role as a trading hub. By the 9th century, London was under frequent attack from Viking raids. These Norse warriors wreaked havoc along the coasts and rivers of England, forcing the Anglo-Saxons to abandon Londonwick in favor of the more defensible Roman walls of Londinium. Alfred the Great, the King of Wessex, fortified the city against the Vikings in 886 AD, marking the start of London's emergence as a central player in English politics. The influence of the Saxons was evident in the establishment of Steady Paul's Cathedral, built in 604 AD as the spiritual heart of the city. However, London remained a target for conquest. In 1016, Danish King Canute seized the throne of England, establishing London as the seat of royal power. Chapter 3 The Norman Conquest and Medieval London 11th-15th Century the most transformative moment in London's early history came in 1066, with the arrival of William the Conqueror. After defeating the Anglo-Saxon forces at the Battle of Hastings, William marched on London, seizing control of the city and building the imposing Tower of London as both a fortress and symbol of Norman authority. Under Norman rule, London's influence grew. It became the political and financial center of the newly unified England. The city of London, known today for its financial power, began taking shape during this period, governed by merchants' guilds and the crown. The medieval city, with its narrow streets and bustling markets, thrived despite the challenges of plague, fire, and unrest. The Black Death in 1348 was one of the most devastating events in London's history, killing an estimated 30 minus 60 of the population. However, the city recovered, and by the 15th century, London was an essential hub for trade, particularly in wool and textiles. The foundations of many of London's iconic institutions, including the Lord Mayor of London, were solidified during this period. Chapter 4 the Tudors and the Rise of London as a Cultural Capital, 16th Century. The Tudor dynasty brought prosperity to London, 
making it the epicenter of England's political and cultural life. Under Henry VIII, the city expanded, with new palaces and churches being built. His infamous break from the Catholic Church and the establishment of the Church of England reshaped London's religious landscape, with many monasteries dissolved and repurposed. London flourished under Elizabeth I as England's naval power grew, and the city became the heart of a burgeoning empire. The Elizabethan period saw London transform into a global hub for trade, with the Royal Exchange becoming a central meeting point for merchants and financiers. It was during this time that London emerged as a cultural powerhouse, particularly in the arts. William Shakespeare and his contemporaries performed in the city's iconic playhouses, like the Globe Theatre, entertaining Londoners from all walks of life. The era also saw the birth of modern theatre and the flourishing of literature, marking London as the cultural capital of England. Chapter 5 Fire, Plague, and Rebirth 17th Century London 17th Century was a tumultuous time for London. The city endured the horrors of the Great Plague of 1665, which claimed nearly 100,000 lives. Just as Londoners began to recover from the plague, the city was dealt another devastating blow. In 1666, a small bakery fire on Pudding Lane ignited what became the Great Fire of London, ravaging the medieval city for four days. The fire destroyed most of London's wooden structures, including 13,000 homes and 87 churches, but it also gave the city an opportunity to rebuild. The ambitious architect Sir Christopher Wren spearheaded London's reconstruction, designing grand buildings, including the iconic New Stiti Paul's Cathedral. His vision reshaped the skyline of London, turning it into a city of stone and brick to prevent future disasters. Chapter 6 London and the Industrial Revolution 18th-19th century. The 18th and 19th centuries saw London transformed by the Industrial Revolution. As Britain became the world's leading industrial power, London's population exploded from around 1 million in 1800 to over 6 million by the end of the 19th century. The city became the largest and most important port in the world, with ships from every corner of the globe bringing goods into its docks. The rise of the British Empire brought immense wealth to the city, and with it, new buildings, parks, and monuments. London's iconic landmarks like Buckingham Palace, the Houses of Parliament, and Tower Bridge were constructed during this period, symbols of the city's newfound power and prestige. However, this rapid growth also brought social challenges. Overcrowding in London's slums led to poverty and disease, as highlighted by figures like Charles Dickens in his novels. Despite the immense wealth of the upper classes, many Londoners lived in squalor. Chapter 7 The Impact of Two World Wars 20th Century The 20th century brought war, destruction, and regeneration to London. During World War I, London was the heart of Britain's war effort, but it was World War II that left a lasting impact. The city endured relentless bombing campaigns during the Blitz, with many historic buildings destroyed and thousands of Londoners killed. Despite the destruction, Londoners remained resilient, and the city quickly rebuilt in the aftermath of the war. The post-war period was marked by social and economic change. The rebuilding efforts transformed the city, with the introduction of new housing developments and landmarks, including the Festival of Britain in 1951, which heralded a new era of British modernism. Immigration from former British colonies reshaped London's demographic landscape, turning it into a vibrant multicultural city. Caribbean, South Asian, and African communities became integral to the fabric of London's society, contributing to its rich diversity and cosmopolitan character. Chapter 8 London Today, a global city of the 21st century today. London is a leading global city, home to over 9 million people from diverse backgrounds. 
It is one of the world's most important financial centers, with the City of London and Canary Wharf hosting major international banks and corporations. Its influence extends beyond finance, encompassing the arts, technology, education and politics. Modern landmarks like the Shard, the London Eye, and the Gherkin sit alongside ancient monuments like the Tower of London and Westminster Abbey, symbolizing the city's seamless blend of old and new. London's cultural influence remains unparalleled, from its theaters in the West and to its museums, galleries, and global sporting events like the 2012 Olympic Games. The city continues to evolve, facing challenges such as Brexit, housing shortages and environmental concerns, yet it remains a symbol of resilience, creativity and diversity. Conclusion The history of London is one of constant reinvention. From its origins as a Roman outpost to its current role as a global leader in finance, culture and politics, London has continually adapted to the challenges and opportunities it has faced. As the city looks to the future, its rich history serves as a testament to its enduring spirit and capacity for growth. London, a city of contrasts and continuity, will undoubtedly continue to inspire and shape the world for centuries to come.